Hi guys, welcome to lecture number 28. In this lecture, we will be discussing the network questions that has been asked in GATE 2017 in EC domain that is electronics and communication. So let us look at the first question. In the circuit shown, the positive angular frequency omega at which the magnitude of phase difference between the voltage V1 and V2 are given that is equal to pi by 4. So we have to find the frequency. What is given? The angle between V1 and V2 that is equal to pi by 4 it is given okay and we need to find the angular frequency of the input voltage source so how will i approach let us see i will make this circuit in laplace domain and i will find v2 of s upon v1 of s so vt of s will be i s let us say current i is flowing here i s into impedance that is equal to 1 plus this is ls so l the value of l is 1 so 1 plus s by v1 of s that is equal to is into 1 so finally v2 of s upon v1 of s you will get that is equal to 1 plus s this is nothing but the i am taking as a transfer function so if i will have to find the angle of h of s that is equal to i will get tan inverse omega by 1 and this is given angle of h of s is nothing but the phase difference between v2 and v1 that is equal to pi by 4 so omega you will get 1 this concept has been discussed in a steady state response that is lecture number 11 let us see the next question the figure shows an rlc circuit excited by the sinusoidal voltage 100 cos 3t where t is in second the ratio of amplitude of v2 upon amplitude of v1 we have to find the v2 upon v1 so v2 upon v1 is nothing but v2 is equal to i can write v2 is equal to i into this impedance okay this impedance is equal to phi minus j upon omega omega is equal to 3 and c is equal to 1 by 36 that is equal to 1 by 12 upon v1 is i into 4 plus j omega l omega is 3 4 plus j3 that is equal to 5 minus j12 upon 4 plus j3 i have to find the amplitude means we are talking about the magnitude magnitude of v2 upon magnitude of v1 that is equal to under root of 25 plus 144 by under root of 16 plus 9 that is equal to 13 by 5 that is nothing but 2.6 this has been asked in set 1 for 2 marks and the concept has been discussed in lecture number 20 and 21. Now let us move to the next question. In the circuit shown below, the voltage V in T is given for T less than 0 it is 0 and for T greater than 0 it is equal to 15 volt where T is in the second. The time at which the current I in the circuit will reach the value 2 ampere. Where is I? Here is I. Means we have to find the time at which the current flowing in 2 Henry will be equal to 2 ampere. See, this is a transient question and we are exciting this circuit by putting one voltage source for T greater than 0. For T less than 0, there is no any source present because for T less than 0, the voltage is 0. For T greater than 0, we are supplying 15 volt. So, it is a charging circuit, right? Charging RL circuit. And we know that in charging RL circuit, IL of T, IL of T is nothing but the current flowing across here. This is IL of T is given as I naught into 1 minus e to the power minus T upon tau where tau is equal to L upon R where L is the parallel combination of this that is equal to 2 by 3 and R is 1. So time constant will be 2 by 3. I naught is the maximum current. Maximum current will flow when this network goes into the steady state means input source is 15 volt. And when this circuit will go into STD, STD means both the inductor will be sorted. That means current maximum current flow will be 15 by R that is equal to 1. So 15 into 1 minus e to the power minus 3 by 2 into T. This I got IL of T. Now this current will divide into two parts. First will go into 1 Henry inductor and second I will go into 2 Henry inductor. So current I we can find by current division rule that is nothing but total current that is IL of T 
multiplied by inductor of other branch that is equal to 1 by total inductor that is 3. So finally i of t you will get 5 into 1 minus e to the power minus 3 by 2t. Now you got i and it is saying that you have to find the time at which the current i will be 2 ampere. So put this i, I of t equal to 2 ampere and find the time. So e to the power minus 3 by 2t is equal to 0 0.6 find t you will get t is equal to 0 0.3405 this has been asked in set 1 for 2 marks question and the concept has been discussed in transient that is lecture number 16 for t greater than 0 let us move to the next question in the circuit zone v is sinusoidal voltage input voltage is ac the current i is in phase with voltage the ratio of amplitude of voltage across capacitor by amplitude of voltage across Resistor means we have to find this is VC and this is VR. So we have to find VC upon VR and condition is given the current I and V are in same phase means in RLC circuit if current I and V are in same phase means it is in resonance. Okay. Now the VC upon VR is nothing but I into XC upon i into r that is equal to xc upon r that is nothing but omega c r so in order to find the vc upon vr we have first we have to find the omega and at resonance we know that omega is equal to 1 by under root lc where l is equal to 500 and c is equal to also 500 so omega you will get that is equal to 1 by 5 radian per second so vc upon vr you will get 1 upon 1 by 5 multiplied by capacitance is 5 multiplied by r is 5 so 1 by 5 that is equal to 0 0.2 is the answer this has been asked in set 2 for one mark question and the concept has been discussed in lecture number 21 see this question the current in the circuit shown in figure was open for a long time and is closed at t is equal to 0 means switch is open for a long time and it is closed at t is equal to 0 and we have to find the current i t at t is equal to 0.5 second so first make the circuit at t is equal to 0 minus at t is equal to 0 minus this switch was opened so the network will be in a steady state so circuit will look like this this is 10 ampere this is 5 ohm and this is 5 and at a steady state inductor is short circuited and we will find il of 0 so il of 0 you can find by using current division rule since both the both parallel branch have same resistance means il of 0 will be 10 by 2 that is equal to 5 ampere okay now when you are closing the switch means the circuit will look like this at t greater than 0 you are closing the switch means the circuit will be like this the circuit will look like this so you can see here that this source has no effect on this inductor this rl branch has been removed from the source because of this short circuit so all the 10 ampere current will flow from here to here it will not go into the 5 ohm resistance because of this short circuit then it will flow like this okay and at for t greater than 0 whatever the energy present across inductor will get dissipated across this resistor this is 5 ohm resistor so current in this circuit will be somehow like this so current will flow in upward direction like this right so 10 ampere current will flow in downward direction and this il of t il of t we can easily find this is a source free circuit because this sources has no effect on this rl branch so il of t will be i naught e to the power minus t upon top okay and it is flowing in upward direction and this is I, my it we have to find the it so what will be the it it is equal to see 10 ampere is flowing downward and il of t is flowing upward means it is equal to 10 minus il of t that is equal to 10 minus i naught i naught is the maximum inductor current that is equal to 5 e to the power minus t upon time constant will be 5 upon l upon r 2.5 by 5 l is equal to 2.5 and r is equal to 5 that is equal to 1 by 2 so finally it you will get 10 minus 5 
e to the power minus 2t and you have to find the current i t at t is equal to 0.5 so put t is equal to 0.5 here you will get 8.16 ampere so this has been asked in set 2 for 2 marks and the concept has been discussed in source free rl circuit see here source is connected in the circuit after t greater than 0 also but it is not affecting the rl network rl network has been separated from these sources because of this short circuit so whole circuit is divided into two parts first circuit the current is flowing like this and second the current is flowing like this inductor current is flowing like this okay so it is given by 10 minus inductor of current il of t for t greater than zero got it let us see the next question in this question you have to find the thevenin equivalent resistance across pq so here you are seeing that one dependent source are present that is 3 i naught and one independent source are present that is the value of 10 volt means this is case 2 problem and in case 2 problem what we are doing we are finding first vth then we are finding isc and rth is given as vth upon isc okay so first find the vth vth is nothing but the voltage across open circuit voltage across this vq this is vth let us see how i am approaching this circuit see this independent voltage source the value of independent voltage source is 3 i naught and this voltage source is connected parallel to this 1 ohm resistance so current flowing in this 1 ohm resistance will be this voltage source value upon r v upon r that is equal to 3 i naught got it because both are connected in parallel so v upon r that is equal to 3 i naught now find the current across this one ohm the current across this one ohm will be 10 ampere and the voltage drop across this will be 10 volt okay the voltage drop across this one ohm will be somehow like this the voltage drop across this one ohm will be somehow like this and same i naught current will flow across this one ohm that is equal to i naught only now apply kvl across a p q b so kvl in a p q b you will get minus 3 i naught plus i naught plus i naught minus 10 10 is the voltage drop across this one ohm resistor that is equal to 0 so i naught you are getting minus 10 ampere so what will be the vth vth is nothing but the voltage drop across this one ohm so vth is equal to i naught into 1 that is equal to minus 10 volt okay now find isc how will i find isc in order to find the isc what we have to do you have to short circuit this terminal where you have to find the isc so you have to short circuit this pq okay now if you short circuit this P pq then current flowing in this one ohm will be zero because of this short circuit one ohm is connected in parallel with the short circuit branch that means the current will be flowing in this one ohm resistor will be zero hence i naught this is i naught i naught will be zero when i naught will be zero means this voltage source value have zero volt because it is uh, depending upon i naught means it is sorted got it and we are getting sorted path here isc so it will be somehow like this and like this okay means when current i is flowing here from here then it will go to the sorted path sorted path you will get from here to here it will not flow in this resistor because of this short circuit and this current will flow from here to from p to q and finally it will go into the source so what will be the value of i i is nothing but isc only and the value is given by total voltage upon total resistance and resistance we are getting only this one ohm so 10 upon 1 that is equal to 10 ampere then what will be the value of rth rth will be vth upon isc vth i am getting minus 10 upon 10 that is equal to minus 1 ohm here you are getting rth negative because of dependent source present in the circuit that is 3i naught so whenever you are getting dependent source and independent source in any kind of circuit this, uh, the mixture of dependent source and independent source then make sure that there may be the chances of getting rth negative so if you will put rth is equal to 1 ohm in gate exam then you will get negative that's why you have to keep in mind that whenever the dependent source and independent source both are present in the circuit then there may be the chance to get 
RTH in negative. So most of the aspirant will put the RTH value equal to 1 that is wrong. Okay. So that's all about this lecture. If I will have to see the weightage of topic asked in gate 2017 in AC domain then from Thevenin 2 marks questions has been asked from transient 4 marks question has been asked from a steady state response that is lecture number 11 2 marks and AC circuit from AC circuit 2 marks of question. So total of 10 marks of questions asked in ECE out of which 5 marks of question asked in set 1 and 5 marks of question asked in set 2. So all the concept has been discussed in my network lecture. So if you guys have gone through that lecture then you, you can solve all the gate questions that has been asked in 2017. So if you guys understood the concept then please like this video. For doubt solving you can join our Facebook group. Thanks for watching this video.